Okay, to find the area of a triangle, we've got this formula to find the area of a parallelogram. Do the vector product, A and B, and then uh, if we want the triangle, we do one half of that. So now this is kind of tricky to figure out. You know, if these are vertices, then we don't actually know what A and B are. Those are vectors. We just given the, the points, the coordinates. So if you draw out a little sketch, it'll help you figure out uh, what you need to do. So zero, one is the point here. And that negative two, I can't really draw that uh, third dimension. So this will work. And then one, two, three, negative one, that's B. Uh, so if I want this vector, I need to find B minus A to get that, to get that actual, and let's call that, let's call that A for this part in the formula. So then the next, the, the third, um, Coordinates negative one, negative two, and three. So that's here. If I want this vector, then let's call that B. I need to do C minus A. And so, because if we just find those two vectors, then that will give us the area of the parallelogram once we do the, uh, the vector product. And then we can cut that in half uh, once we find the, the magnitude. So it's important to figure out which two vectors you want first. Um, so I would suggest drawing this little picture. So B minus A, we need to calculate that first. So the coordinates of B minus A. So that's going to be 3. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. This is really easy to make a mistake here. Uh, let me just double check. 3, yeah. 2 minus negative 2 is 4. Okay, so that's our vector A. And then the vector B, C minus A, so negative 1, negative 2, 3, minus A is 0, 1, negative 2. Again, really easy to make a mistake here. Negative 1 minus 0, negative 2 minus 1, and 3 plus 2. Okay, so now these are going to go in our vector product. So the i, j, k, we write them out sideways negative one, negative three, five. And now we have to find three determinants. So we ignore the I column and we write down the two by two matrix. We find the determinant of that by doing negative two times five minus negative three times four. Again, really easy to make mistakes here. This is negative 10 uh, minus negative 12. So that's two I. Let me just double check that. Negative 10 minus negative 12. Yep. Looks good. And now the J co component, we subtract. So ignore the J column. We get 3, 4, negative 1, 5. So that's 15 minus negative 4. So that's 19J. Double check that. 15 minus negative 4. Okay. And then the K column we ignore. So we get 3, negative 2, negative 1, negative 3. So this one's got lots of negatives. Uh, 3 times negative 3, I'm going to write all these down, minus negative 1 times negative 2. That's negative 9 minus 2. That's negative 11k. So that's A cross B. That's this part. Now we need to find the magnitude, which is what, whoops, which is what these bars are saying to do. So that means do two squared plus 19 squared plus 11 squared, take the square root. So that's uh, two squared plus 19 squared. Oops, do that on my calculator here. And I get the square root of 486. Now I calculate that and I get about, let's use the approximate 22.045, but that's the parallelogram. So I just cut that in half to get the triangle. And for this problem, I said to round two sig figs because it comes out a little bit nicer, 11. So there you go.